Hi everyone, so today I thought I'd show you all my gerbil tank. There's strawberry. Um, I've had these guys, I've got a pair and the sisters and I've had them for two months now. No, sorry, I've had them three months, that's gone fast. So these guys are just over four months old because I got them at five weeks. Um, yeah, I've also got a few bits and bobs I bought from the supermarket, but I thought first I'd show you around the cage. So, the only thing that isn't in the tank are the food bowls, because I've just cleaned them out, um, and I've just took the food out ready to fill it. So, when I do the food and put them back in, what I normally do is put one on this shelf, and one on this shelf, just so they're not together, and mouse can be a bit greedy. So, this is the wheel, that I do a new wheel, um, I just need to get a, a new one, but it's the Carly Wonderland, I think, from Zoo Plus. So it's pretty silent, I mean, the te they make more noise chewing it, which they have started to do, but it's pretty silent. Um, and on this shelf, I've got lots of different wood for them, so this is Willow, I've got some Orchard Bark, over here I've got some apple and pear twigs, so they've got a few bits. I've also got some of the dried berries and rose petal, a bit of hair on that shelf. So over here, now one thing that they did start doing, I did have a water bowl and they started kicking all the bedding in. But I found this in Pets at Home. Now, it's just got a hole in here so it acts like a hide but on top they've got the water and it's worked really well. They keep it clean and they just sit up here and drink it so it's promoting exercise as well so that's worked really well. Um, this shelf has got marshmallow leaves, rose petals, some oat, cow, cow, cow's ears, something like that. There's a middle of a corn, the middle of a corn on the cob, which keeps the teeth down brilliant and they really like to chew that. We've got some bay leaves and just a piece of loofah over here. They've also got a fur plast cornstarch um, wedge. Now, a little tip if you buy this for your guys and they don't pay any attention to it, leave it in the cage. Mine didn't start chewing this till about three weeks after I put it in the tank, so they will find it um, eventually. The next shelf, I have the sand bath, and I found this ball in B and M bargains. It was one ninety nine. It's a love heart shape. It's quite deep, so it works really well. And again, um, cactus, cactus flower, bay leaves, some grass, a bit of a dagu mix I got off. Zoo Plus, so they will have a nibble of that. Working down, I've got this which came from Zoo Plus. It's just a little stand. Um, and this sisal ring with a bit of wood on, I, I just put over it. They do like that. Down here, I've got some cuttlefish. They will have a nibble now and again. And this is what's left. Of that. So I got this off Zoo Plus, I've just put the new one in, but that's what was left. So I'm going to take that bit out now and give them a new one. So down here, so come down here, there we go. Down here, I've got there's a little hide, the bedding under the shelf, I've got a coconut hide, and the fiddle sticks. Um, and this is the big hideaway house, so it's got an entrance here and an entrance down here. And they've made the nest in there. Um, give me a minute, I'll open it up. And so inside is the nest, which is pretty impressive. They've made it from sphagnum moss in here. where mouse is. I think a mouse is hiding under here which is under this ramp but she'll come out when I do my haul probably. Mouse is normally the most outgoing of the two. So yeah 
that's the tank. It's Critter's Choice, I think. I got it from a local pet shop, but you can buy them online. I paid about £100 for it. But well, there's a mouse. Hi, mouse. Hi, mouse. Hmm. What are you doing? So, yeah, that's the tank. Um, I normally wait until they kick all the bedding out from under that shelf um, and see how deep it is. Because what I noticed is if I put a really, I used to put a really high level in of bedding to about there, but what happened was I kicked it onto the shelves and what they, what they like is that whole shelf to be bare, so they kick all this bedding out and make tunnels in it. So it works really well about that much bedding. Um, sometimes I top it up, I'll normally put, I'll normally top it up with hay on the top, so that's the tank. So I'll put the lid on so you can see some of the toys. Trying to do this with one hand isn't good. There we go. So, this hanging toy I made myself, it's got pumice on the bottom and the rest is bamboo and palm leaf. Um, this is just one of the kebab type skewers with a mineral block on the bottom, loofah and wood. And that's one of the pets at home daisy garlands, but with loofah on. Hi mouse! Sorry about the reflection in the glass. Um, so yeah, I did. I also bought a few things from the pet shop, so I thought I'd show you them now. So, I bought some fruit and nut. Fruit and nut mix, and this is from Aldi, I got this yesterday, it's got almonds, peanuts, um, some sultanas and raisins in, and that was only 50p, and this one was 69p, uh, it's pretty much the same except without the fruit, and it has cashews and brazils in it, and walnuts, they're not, they do like nuts, but it's not, it's not really the favourite thing in the world. So I'll sit about. I went to the seed aisle because I do like to feed my natural uh, things. I got them some sesame seeds. I saw this on a review from one of my subscribers and she was talking about the benefits of sesame seeds. Now, the I would feed these as a treat or as a little sprinkling over the top of the daily food. I just got some more red lentils because the soup and broth mix I buy doesn't have that many in. So I just got a little pack of the red lentils to top that up. I also got some golden linseed. So they're going to really like them because they like seeds and things. They really do. Can you hear rattling mouse? Okay. Another thing I got now, f at first I picked up one small banana porridge organic, t um, I think it was cow and gate make, but then in the reduced aisle I come across this, now it's, it's organic, it only has in oats, banana and apple and I think maize um, and it's one of the five a day, obviously that's for babies. Um, but I'm going to try these with the gerbils. They are really friendly, it's just they're not too keen on take, they haven't, they don't really take treats off me. Um, they'll tolerate handling but they're not too keen on it so I thought, what, what I did get with that, well, for that, was a syringe from the pharmacy. Now I've, I know a lot of people will syringe baby food for the hamsters and they'll just let them lick the end of it. And what I thought I could do was try try them, these guys with a bit of it in a syringe and see if they'll sort of take it off me and it'll help with bonding and things so hopefully they'll like that um, another thing I've got, I just picked up these white chocolate drops they're quite sugary and fatty, I wouldn't recommend them as a treat every day but Bambi loves these they're a favourite treat so I just picked up them I think they're about 50 pence in Tesco um, and the last thing I've got was some cat treats because they were on offer the Felix goodie bag was a pound 
and this is the fish variety and these sticks I've already took one out but you get quite a lot they were a pound um, I'll probably try the gerbils on the meaty sticks they're not too keen on dog biscuits I've tried everything and they're not too keen they do like mealworms hi strawberry say hi it's really funny because strawberry is normally quite timid and mouse is the first out so he must know that the camera's out <laughs> Must be camera shy. Hi, Mouse. Say hi. So, I got the cat treats for a cat that visits. He's not our cat. I don't know whose cat he is, but he spends probably 80% of the time at our house. He's either in the garden chasing frogs from next door's pond, or he's asleep on the dining room chair. So, it's like our adopted cat. So, he's not that well looked after. I fling him because he's pretty. He was pretty scraggly looking. Um, so yeah, he spends most of his time here. So yeah, he's called Glenn, if anyone's interested. <laughs> but yeah, that's my tank and that's my haul. It's not that it's not that um, interesting a haul or exciting. I also got some organic carrots that were on offer because Bambi loves carrots with the tops on. Um, and the gerbils, I've bought parsley as well and the gerbils like the fresh parsley. And they do like the carrot tops, so I finally found a veg that they quite like. It's strawberry, so she's making a start on all of her tunnels. Hey, strawberry. That was fast. That was super fast. Hi. So, once I turn the camera off, these guys are going to make a start on all the tunneling. They're going to dig all that bedding out. Um, I use Carefresh Naturals bedding, so, and, so they're going to kick all that bedding out and make the tunnels and things like that. I've also got what's left of a Wilco's seagrass mat down there um, and that's just a fiddle sticks for the shelf and that works really well. Where's Mouse? Where's Mouse? Is she being shy? Huh? So I'm gonna go, um, I had a request for a rabbit cage tour so I'm gonna try and get that up ASAP um, I'm pretty busy this weekend but I'll try my best um, it's in the dining room her cage but she does get free range 24 hours a day so she hardly uses it really just just for just to go in a litter tray but yeah I'll get that up as soon as possible and thanks for watching bye